You've said recently that better vaccines are coming. You can even see vaccines without needles. Um, what, can you talk a little bit about that? Yes, yeah, so there are a number of vaccines uh, in development that are being given either through the nasal route as a spray, and they, that would have a lot of advantages because it would generate local mucosal immunity in addition to systemic immunity. There are oral vaccines that are being developed, and there are also vaccines that could be given through the skin, through transdermal uh, applications. So, so there are uh, all of these uh, innovative uh, vaccine designs coming through. There are single-dose vaccines coming as well, um, vaccines that can be stored at room temperature. And that's why I'm so optimistic that eventually we are going to have a range of vaccines. Have you learned personally more in the last year than at any other time in your life? Absolutely, there's no doubt. You know, I've worked on tuberculosis and I'm appalled that we make so little progress in tuberculosis. It takes a decade to do a clinical trial and get a new drug as part of the regimen for TB. It takes 30 years, you know, to get a vaccine from phase one into phase three. And it's been very depressing. And, and just seeing what's happened with COVID gives me renewed hope that we can address some of our other public health challenges with the kind of global collaboration that we've been able to uh, bring, uh, you know, to address this problem of COVID-19. It's a question of having that mission and that goal and scientists around the world agreed to work together. It was just an unsaid commitment that people had. And, and that's what resulted in, in where we are today. So I hope we can do this for some of the other big killers like TB and malaria, hopefully HIV as well.